order processing, in tally ERP9, can be classified, into purchase, sales order processing, and job order processing. Purchase order processing, is the key transaction, as it is the confirmation of deal, or purchase which is made, before an actual deal is, made. Purchase order eliminates, the controversy which may occur later on, it can be rates deviation, or product deviation, payment terms etc. The screen displays, about activating order processing, that is purchase order, in F11 features, inventory features, Purchase order. Party's account name. Select the supplier's name, from the list of ledger accounts. Use Alt plus C, to create a new account. Order number. Enter the, purchase order number, under order number column. Name of the item. Select the stock item. That needs to be purchased, from the list of stock items. The item allocations subscreen, is displayed. Enter the details, as shown. The screen shows how to alter purchase order, in Daybook, by pressing F4, and select purchase order. Receipt Note Voucher. This voucher type, is used for recording goods, received from the supplier. To enter, the Receipt Note Voucher, from F11, Inventory Features, Enable the option Use Tracking Numbers, Delivery, Receipt Notes. Go to Gateway of Tally. Select Inventory Vouchers. Press the button, Alt plus F9 or select the button F9. Receipt Note, from the button bar. The screen shows, how to activate rejection outward. Rejection out. Transaction can be entered, by pressing F6, hotkey on the toolbar. You have to select ledger account, of a customer and supplier name. Once you select that, you would list of items received, from that vendor you can select the appropriate tracking number, which is the goods receipt note number, which you have received, from the customer, as you are returning, those goods which are received. This will also help, you to keep a track, of each GRN you have received, and you can know the fact, of each, GRN whether goods received, were approved by your company, or they were returned back. Purchase Transaction. You can see a list of orders, once you have purchase orders, entered in the system. The details, entered in the purchase orders, are picked up in purchase transaction. This eliminates, duplication of work and, errors. At the same, the data consistency, is carried till final transaction of purchase. Sales order. Party's account name. Select the supplier's name, from the list of ledger accounts. Use Alt plus C, to create a new account. Order number. Enter, the sales order number under, order number column. Name of the item. Select the stock item, that. Needs to be sales, from the list of stock items. The item allocations, subscreen is displayed. Enter the details, as shown. Enter the quantity, of the item required and its rate. The amount will be calculated, automatically. Accept to save.
The screen shows how to alter sales order in Daybook by pressing F4 and select sales order. Delivery note transaction. With an reference number, we deliver goods to a customer. This is a delivery note. This will affect your inventory books of accounts, and your stock levels would go down. Kindly enter the appropriate details, like tracking number, quantity and rate, and save the record. Rejection in transaction can be entered by pressing F6 hotkey on the toolbar. You have to select ledger account of a customer and customer name. Once you select that, you would list of items delivered to a customer. You can select the appropriate tracking number, which is the goods delivery note number, which you have received from the customer. As you are receiving those goods which are delivered, Sales transaction. You can see a list of orders once you have sales orders entered in the system. The details entered in the sales orders are picked up in sales transaction. This eliminates duplication of work and errors. At the same time, the DA, the data consistency, is carried till final transaction of sales.